All right. Listen, listen. We got another banger for you here this morning, ladies and gentlemen. You're about to be enlightened to some shit right now. Are you ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Da -na -na. Why is spirit coming to? Why is spirit coming to me? Okay. Now, let me tell y'all something that you're going to be like, what the fuck? Oh my God, now I understand. Mm. Why is spirit coming to you? Why is spirit coming to you all the time and only you? Why are you feel like you're being bothered by spirit? Why do you feel like they're tapping on you at night, waking you up all hours of the night, coming in your dream state, you're seeing some shit, could be family, past people, people you don't even know, but you know, you know that you know you know them, but you don't know that you know them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we had some weird dreams last night. I'm gonna tell you what happened to me last night. Let me share with you. So I'm laying in my bed, minding my own damn business, trying to fall asleep. My hand gets picked up so high in the air, it goes like this. Yeah. And falls back down. Now, usually, I'm one to think, like, maybe I had a twitch, you know, like my hand twitched. No, but a twitch is like, you know, when you, your hand twitches, my hand got lifted in the air and fell back down. And I felt the, pr it was, it wasn't like scary. No, no, no. Let me not scare you guys because there's nothing to be scared of. Let me tell you why. I'll tell you why. And then I'm going to tell you why spirit's coming to you. My hand got lifted in the air. I did not get scared, but I was like, hmm? And I just like, you know, you freeze for a second, like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? And then I heard loud and clear in my third eye, but it was a voice. And she said, I'm your daughter. So like most of you know already, I had an abortion before. And um, I, I see this little girl in my dreams all the time, all the time. And this time she came and she, she was trying to get my attention last night. She lifted my hand up and then she said in my head, I'm your daughter and I heard her loud and clear. So I've been working on sending her to the light all afternoon. And from what I just got from spirit, I worked on her for a while, opened up a portal, let her go to the light and I released her. And spirit told me that she went, okay? And, and I did it lovingly. I apologized to her. I told her why I had to get the abortion, why this had to happen. I'm sorry. I love you. And, you know, and I see her in dimensions and other realms in my dreams. And she's not in the most loveliest places of all. Of all. When I'm sleeping, I wake up. Maybe, maybe I think maybe my body twitched. Most of the time, if it's a twitch, twitch happens quick. And it's like, think, and it goes down. But I'm talking about lifted and then pulled back down. So, okay, so she told me that. Fine. Now, the reason why I'm sharing that with you is because I'm going to tell you why spirit comes to you. Okay, those of you who know what spirit is and how spirit works, Silver Star, everybody who just entered, you know how spirit works. I'm going to tell you something. Why is spirit coming to you, though? I'm going to tell you why. In your home, in your family, in your generations, there are plenty of people in your family, in your generations, your dynamics, and they cannot get their attention. Let me repeat myself. So you understand they can't get their attention now there's a woman a girl my age about comes in my dreams all the time she's angry pissed off mad at the world doesn't like me and she's about my age and i'm thinking in my head my intuition tells me this gotta be my sister because she keeps coming to me as my other sister who's alive and she doesn't she doesn't get along with me for some reason she's always fucking with me so i get up this morning and i said you know what let me test my intuition Chrissy, what's up, baby? Millie. And so I told you, there's a girl who comes in my dream. She's she's about my age. So I'm like, let me test my intuition. Something's telling me that this girl has to be my sister in the spirit realm. And she keeps coming to visit me because she can't like visit anybody else. I wake up. I go to talk to my mom. I said, let me ask you a question. You ever had a miscarriage? And she was like, yeah. I was like, how old would the girl be? About like 32, 33. She goes, yeah, why? And I'm like, she keeps coming in my dreams. And I said, you need to resolve something with her because she's bothering me. And she goes, what am I going to resolve with her? I said, she was, it was a miscarriage. I know. I said, but even miscarriage babies can feel like, you know, they feel neglected and alone. They grow in the spirit world just like they grow in this world. And if they decide to, chilling, Chrissy, chilling. If they decide to grow in this world, in the spirit realm, they'll also grow in the spirit realm. The reason why spirit keeps coming to you in your dreams, the family and spirits bothering you at night 
if you you see them they see you now spirit understands that some of us are intuitive and empathic and sensitive and aware of spirit right so most of you in here right now are aware of spirit you know that they exist so 95 percent of the time they're trying to get your attention so a lot of times the spirit that's getting your attention could have nothing to do with you at all nothing nothing like for instance i've had many family people come in my dreams and i'm like what are you attacking me for they got beef with somebody else and they're taking it out on me not because they want to take it out on me but it's because i'm the only one paying attention to it do you, do you understand what i'm saying to you yes is that why you can't sleep because you have three that passed and i'm gonna tell you somebody dm me and i get these dms all the time and she said flo i keep getting woken up at night and i have to pray to god that i could sleep and i said stop praying to god that you can sleep and get up and stand up and let spirit know if you're not a medium a psychic and you're not gonna be able to do anything with the energy that's like around you or bothering you if you want to quote it the bother you have to let them know directly i don't know what to do with this and like all you're doing is just causing me not to sleep and affecting my sleep time right yeah so anybody who has like stillborn babies abortions miscarriages and you see children your, a child in your dreams and, and this per baby or this person keeps coming to you and you don't know who they are they could possibly be somebody who has unresolved issues in the spirit realm and they they're trying to get you to help them in some way or another for instance the girl who picked my hand up last night while i was sleeping and said i'm your daughter and I've been seeing this girl in my dreams over and over, but she's never in, she's always in like running around these crazy dimensions. Just like last night I had the dream I was with her. We were walking in these dimensions and she was acting like it was nothing. The fucking buildings were on fire and shit. And I was looking at her like, run. She was like, don't worry about it. I'm here all the time. Like, this is what we do. Uh, no, no, no. You're not supposed to be there. So I sat here on my chair and this is what I'm telling you. This is why I'm telling you this. Spirits coming to you and visiting you at night. They're coming to you in your dreams, your family, your generational people, people who might have hated your mother, might have hated your father, might have hated your cousins, coming to you as if you're the, you're the problem, but you're not. They're coming to you and you're thinking it's your problem and now you're dealing with spiritual energy that's not even yours and it's not your karma and you have to keep clearing these people and letting them know, like, I ain't got shit to do with this. Just because I can see you, feel you, I understand that you're around, doesn't mean you come to bother me. That's not fair. You have to make it very clear and you have to let your spirit guides know too. One of the most important jobs as a light worker is you have to let your spirit guides know, like you're reporting back for duty. You have to understand this very clearly. Star seeds, light workers, empaths. Your your energy here, right? The one of the most important vital missions that you have is to always send back information to your guides so hey spirit guides like for instance i had these people bothering me constantly coming in my dreams bothering me bothering me bringing me to places i didn't want to be so i had to stop and be like spirit guides this person that person they're not stopping it's it's constant attacks they come as other people they dress you know sheep's clothing and and they come in and act like this person and that person and they're constantly trying to confuse me you need to help me get rid of them because i've tried everything under the sun and it's not working and your spirit guides will and they will help you remove this person or these people they will. You just have to let them know what's going on in full detail. This person, that, 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 that. That's why it's important to remember your dreams, the ones that affect you and that bother you, especially. And the reason why I'm telling you this is this is very clear. Like I said, I had an abortion. The little girl kept coming in my dreams. And I love my child. I love my children, however many I have in the spirit world. But one thing I'm going to say right now is as a mother, I'm not going to allow my child to be all up in these crazy dimensions bugging out. Like you, you, it's not, it's not going to go down like that. So I sat down with her here. First of all, the first thing I did was when she lifted my hand last night, high up in the air, it went and down. I was like, wait, 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 what? And I feel like they never are able to do that to me and i feel like for some reason guides must have helped her do that because she needed me to help her move forward to the light because there was an unresolved issue there between me and her and her feeling a certain way like maybe she doesn't love me you know what i mean um yeah I, and diamond you know what there's nothing to be afraid of that because a boy lion you gotta understand spirit could come to you in animal form people form it's all different types first don't fear anything because when we fear we mistrust and like i said for a while it's been happening to me like here and there my hand would get lifted or my fingers would get moved and i like ignored it like what the fuck is this but i didn't realize this whole time it's been somebody that love that wants a love and attention and then needs help moving on so i sat here on this chair and then i felt like she was sitting here i was just looking at this chair i was talking to her and i was like listen 
this is what happened this is why i had to do this i'm so sorry i love you you know i love you so much that i'm not going to sit here and allow you to be in these forms in these spirit realms you need to move forward i know that you want to be around me and you want to you know be around your mother and but you this is not how you can't do it this way and then i opened up a portal for her i did the circle and then I, I envision my guides, my angels, my family members, my friends in the spirit world standing on the other end of the portal. And there was a big light and a tunnel going through and they were standing there lovingly awaiting for her to be ready to walk through the portal. And I sat and I said, whenever you're ready, just go. And then one day I'll see you. I promise you. And I waited and I waited until I felt that. Okay, she's walking through now. She walked through. The portal closed. And I asked that she walk through the portal and I heard yes. And then I asked for confirmation because I want to make sure, not because I don't trust, but I want to make sure, please make birds fly on my right if she moved forward. And right over here, oh, a bird just flew to my right right now. Three birds flew this way. And then I seen a hawk up there. You see it? You see the hawk up there flying? I don't know if you could see it, but on camera, but, um, but yeah. I saw that hawk flying and it was, they were all flying to my right. My point is, oh, my point is, I asked for the confirmation. I helped her get, move through the spirit realm. I told everyone in the family that attacked me and that was like doing all these weird things that I love them and I forgive them. And I let go of it, all of it. I forgive and I love and I, for, and I forgive and I let go of it. And, and anyone who's got beef with anybody else and you can't get through to them, that's not fair that you're coming to me and torturing me because you can't give the message to them and I can't give the message for you because I told my, you got to tell family instantly. It's very hard as family to go turn around and be like to your family member, hey, I saw your cousin in your dream and she told me to tell you you're going to get sick. Like who wants to do that? You understand what I'm saying to you? You know when somebody, um, it is trippy, it's very trippy, it's very trippy. Cause like when you start hearing into other dimensions and you start getting like feeling really in this dimension and you connect the two dimensions together, that's, that's a whole nother level of shit, you know what I'm saying? And so spirit is really asking you if you're here. The spirit be pushing me, I'm like, what the fuck, why are you pushing me? Yeah, and you know what, you gotta, first of all, I'm gonna tell you right now, if it feels uncomfortable and you're, you're not comfortable and it's scary, you better nip that shit in the bud instantaneously because of course we all got somebody who's you know a hater and, and wants to stand on the sidelines and fuck with your energy but you're not you know about you're not, not about to do that shit around here like we don't take that shit lightly around here my guides don't take it lightly your guides don't take it lightly you need to understand you got some powerful guides and they will fight for you but they don't see they don't have to fight though that's the thing i noticed that no matter what they don't fight they just <laughs> they do a finger move like Get the fuck out of here <laughs> swipe you know what i'm saying they literally just <laughs> watch out <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i've learned to do that with spirit in this realm and in other dimensions i don't need to fight you but if bitch if you step to me because bitches be stepping to me in the dream state and i'm always beating the shit out of them every time you know how usually you can't fight in your dream state i'm the opposite i am i can fight the strongest motherfuckers possible and I fought some strong motherfuckers. These motherfuckers, I could feel their 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 strength in this world. Like when I wake up, I'm like, D <gasps> damn, bitch. Like, you know what I'm saying? You were strong. You know what I mean? So I'm telling you here, right now, in this moment, if you're having these energies, these spiritual energies, either bothering you, quote unquote, air quote, let your guides know. And again, I know you could pray to God all you want, okay? We're, we're, we're not talking about... These are not demonic entities. These are people that are stuck. <clears throat> you know, demonic entities, they ain't got time for you. They're worried about the big guys. You know what I'm saying? They ain't all up in little people's houses doing stupid little shit. They're not... That's not their job. They, they go to those that are easily, easily influenced and they take over them fully. We're, we're, we don't even focus on that. We want to talk about a spirit that needs help to move forward. And all you got to do is sit with them for a moment. Listen, you think you're talking to yourself. I know it seems crazy, but last night when I was like, okay, so I know that you're my daughter. What, what's next? And she was like, I just want to talk to you. I just, And I said, well, what do you think being around here? And I was asking questions and I was getting an answer. And asking questions, getting an answer. And then I finally said, like, you need to move on to the light. And I'm going to start from now until tomorrow working with you to go to the light. Yeah, I keep having dreams about my toxic ex. How do I make it stop? Cut 
the energetic invisible cords there's a meditation on YouTube it's called cutting cords meditation 101 times so what you do is you lay there you don't even need that you could just play meditation music cutting cords with people okay guys I'm gonna give you I'm gonna drop a fucking gem on you you're welcome when you break up with someone or they break up with you or there was something there that was so bad and it was so crazy and toxic or even if it wasn't and there's still an energetic link between the two of you, you have to do a meditation where you close your eyes, you play that music or you just sit there quietly. And what you're gonna do is envision the person that you want to cut the cords with. Keep your eyes closed, envision them. Now I want you to see a silver line almost like a cord to a telephone, to you, from your heart chakra, to that person's heart chakra. And you're looking at that cord, and you first are gonna start with healing that cord. So send loving vibrations to that cord. Keep sending loving vibration from your heart to them. I forgive you, I love you, thank you. I forgive you, I love you, thank you. And so you start to feel your heart chakra either go ba-boom, ba-boom, or you feel the love, right? Once you pass this, I forgive you, I love you, I, but really you gotta forgive them. Not, I forgive you, okay, leave me alone. It's gotta come from a place of love. And once you feel that happen, then you can envision whatever angel, whatever uh, saint you follow, whatever it is, or yourself with a big ass scissor, just cutting that cord. The cord was healed, you released it, you cut it, asking Arch Archangel Raphael to now come and heal these cords completely off your body and off of theirs. The, cord have, the cords have been cut, the energy has been moved, and we are moving on with our lives. And boom, it is Reiki, it's Reiki. Yeah, everything is Reiki, you know? When you see somebody who's like, I'm a Reiki master. Okay, everybody is though. It's all about your intention, the intention you set. Ooh, I feel like somebody just touched my hand. It's all about the intention you set and the amount of energy you put into whatever you're working on. So like when I sat there and I opened up the portal to allow spirit to move on to the light, it's not just me opening up the portal, it's gonna happen. It's gotta be an... It's your imagination plays a big role in this. Open the portal, see the portal. Then what's behind the portal? What's there? Who's standing there? What are they wearing? Okay, great. Now see the person walking up to it, walking into it and stepping out. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Everyone's tree of life has a few leaves that are not quite right. It's time to shed these. It's like when you have, what else, what does it mean when you feel like you you got hit with a ball of, ball of energy? Depends. What, did you feel good about it? Was it not good? I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's just the feeling you get. Whatever you're feeling, go with your intuition. And, and that's great. Like, we, we, we have to listen to our intuition. Anytime something happens, that's why I always listen. I listen. What am I feeling? I listen to my heart. I listen to my mind, my stomach especially. Your stomach is your superpower. It'll tell you if something's right or not right, something's off or not off about this. You know that feeling when you're like, oh, God, I'm nervous. I got to take a shit. You know, you can mix excitement for nervousness. You have to really tune in and pay attention to what you're hearing and seeing and feeling. Just like with your dreams. When you want to interpret your dreams, you can't just be like, I had a dream about this. I don't know what it means. Sit with the dream for a little bit. Okay. So I had a dream that I was going through all this stuff. And when I was at the end of the dream, I ended up on a bed sitting down with someone. I was petting his hair. This is what I dream I had last night. The dude was Mar Mario Lopez and I couldn't understand it. And all of this stuff I was going through, and I remember him saying, don't you want to go back to all that stuff? I said, no, I just want to be here on the bed just petting your hair. Like as if he was waiting for me, or you know, it's the intuition, the, in, the, the impulse, the feeling you feel within. You have to listen fully to what you have. It's not, a, you know, it's not just about seeing your dreams and going, I saw this, I saw that. It's all about listening fully. And I, I, I beg of you guys tonight, when that's happening in your room, immediately sit up on the edge of your bed, and sit there and if you get woken up, right? And you feel like no matter what, if I don't do something about this, I'm gonna keep getting woken up. Sit at the edge of your bed. You know, turn the light on if you're scared or, or a dim light or something. Cause you know, lights could probably scare some spiritual energy away. So some dim lights and have, sit down at the edge of your bed quietly without any noise, any thinking, and just say, what do you want from me? In your mind, 
Say what you got to say in your mind. You could telepathically communicate or you could say it out loud. I'm sorry, you guys. I love you. I'm not here. I'm not yelling at you. I'm not mad. I just want to understand what do you actually want from me? Because I'm trying to figure out what I can actually do for you because you keep coming to me as if I can do something for you. So make it very clear what you think I can do for you so that I can attempt to do those things for you. And then you sit there. Nothing's coming. Nothing's coming. Nothing's coming. Then you hear, help me. Help you how? How do you want me to help you? And then, you know, you can let them know, listen, I'm not a medium. I'm not, this is not what I do for a living. I can't just call somebody up right now and be like, hey, by the way, um, I, is this Mrs. Uh, Erica Jones? Your daughter's tapping on me right now. She wants me to say something to you. You have to explain to spirit. I understand I'm able to see you. You're able to see me. But this is, this is you know, we have to, um, this is my life and I have to be able to live it. And you're making it very uncomfortable in my place of living. You know what I'm saying? You have to let them know. And what I just said, I want you to write that down. Please tell me what you think I could do for you so I could start attempting to do this. Because as of right now, I'm confused. It's just a whole bunch of stuff. And it's, you're running around causing a muck. And I don't understand what you're doing or what you're saying, what you want me to do. Make it clear. Make it clear. You have to talk to me through my third eye. I don't want you grabbing my hands. I don't want you pushing me. I don't want you talking into my ear out loud. You got to figure out a way. If you really, really are of the light and you want some help, you'll be able to figure out a way. Talk to me through my third eye. And through the third eye, it's like this. You'll hear a voice in your third eye. I don't know how to explain it to you. It's not, it's like inside of you, It's but it's a loud inside voice. It's like, like I, like when I heard, I'm your daughter, but there's been times when I heard, hey, in my ear, and I'm like, oh, no, no, see, no, what we're not going to do is yell in people's ears. And like, it makes me uncomfortable. Of course, who's not going to get scared if they hear somebody say, hey, like that? At first, you're going to get startled, but you got to get that startled shit away and then recognize like, no, no, I don't, that's not, I don't, I'm not comfortable with that, that kind of communication, so... We're going to have to, because there's some spirit that, that they know you can hear them. And for no goddamn reason, they just want to scream shit out loud. Like, no, bro, like, go over there. Like a two-year-old trying to get your attention. Sorry, honey. That's not what life is about around here. You better learn to respect me. Because if you don't know by now, you better ask the spirit world. Bitch, don't play around. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got to let them know. Like, that you don't have to be mean, but you got to you gotta hold your um ground with, I mean, it's like fucking talking to somebody on the street. You can't be like... Yeah, sure. I'll go ahead and take full advantage of me right now. I I like being uh, my boundaries being uh, completely uh, manipulated, and and you treating me like a like a loser. You know what I'm saying? Like you, that's like the same thing. If you're on the street, it's the same thing when you're in your house. Like I tell people all the time, if you were home and a robber walked into your house and they're like, "Yeah, hey, I'm gonna steal your shit," I mean, what are you gonna like? Some people are just going to say, okay, I'm sorry, I'm scared. You know, I understand that. If they have a gun, you want to protect your family. Like, it's the same thing with spirit, though. They be trying to intimidate you, but fuck all that. I don't work with, I, I don't work good on intimidation. That shit don't work for me. You know what I'm saying? It's not, that's not how I roll, bro. So that intimidation shit, you're going to have to take that somewhere else. Because, mm. because, you know, the way I see it, you get more bees with honey. Mm -hmm. So if spirit's trying to bully me into doing something boy that's when i get real mad what no 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 oh fuck excuse me um i don't i don't need to call my team until i feel like i need to call my team you know what i'm saying and my team comes and they come quick they be fast as a motherfucker and so are yours but you have to connect with them you gotta you gotta you got to build a bond between you and your guides. You know what I'm saying? Because once you do, once they start seeing you're on top of it, you're on top of it, you're on top of it, you ain't stupid, you see everything. Don't forget, too, they don't see everything either, so you can't blame them and be like, motherfucker, you're supposed to be there for me. Hold on. But just because they're your spirit guides doesn't mean they didn't step off for a second because they thought, thought someone else needed help, needed their help for a second. If they're guides and spirit guides, that means that they're doing the right thing. And if anyone they catch that needs help at that moment, they're going to help them. And the way I am with my spirit guides and, and angels is like, I'm like, please go help as many people as possible. When I need you, I'm going to ring. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to call you. Please show up. And they do every single time. Hmm. Connecting with spirit guides is as simple as this. Let's do it right now. Close your eyes. Real quick. I'm going to do a quick one for you and then you could take this and run with it. You guys want to do it or not? <clears throat> and my guides are tapping me on the head right now. 
And they want you to get connected to them because a lot of you are needing to connect with them in a better way. You don't ignore them. You just, you know, spirits, spirit guides are not stupid. They know when you're ready, when you're not. They stand back and be like, all right, this motherfucker's not ready yet. Hold on. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so we'll do a quick little, um, what's happening with your spirit guides. All right. So the first thing that for me, the way I do it, I will lay down comfortably in a position. I can't sit up and meditate. I can't fold my legs. My knees hurt. I mean, I don't know. I have to lay down and I feel comfortable with a blanket covering me, my eyes covered, and I'll lay there. But if you want to do a quick one where you'd be sitting down somewhere and you'd be like, okay, okay, spirit guides, put your hand over your heart. <sighs> Hello, spirit guides. Hi, it's me. It's me. Um, I need your help really quick. Could you please come on in and help me? And so you're going to say that out loud and you're going to put the white light all around you from inside of you. The white light comes from inside. Just imagine a glowing bowl and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and you surround yourself with it so that only information from your guides will come through. And you could sit there for a moment and just close your eyes and envision guides. come. You don't have to know what they look like, what they sound like, what's their names, their energy, baby. These, these are not people, some of them. Some of you have guides that are actually guides, like my spirit guides, they're from another dimension. They've shown me, they eat out in the skies. They have skyscrapers that float around and shit like that. They've shown me all that, but that's because I'm at that level with them. I've been doing this for a while now, you know? So you gotta continue to work on it. You could start with just building trust with them like hey guys i would love to meet you if it's possible maybe i could see how you look or maybe you could tell me your names you know um and remember when you send out a a, a thought or a wish to the universe give it a couple of days to manifest sometimes they'll come in your dreams sometimes they'll come through meditation but one thing i would say is every day you have to meditate every day you have to you have to you have to give you have to give 15 to 20 minutes of your day at least to meditate, okay? So you're going to ask them to come through and then you're going to envision them coming through and ask them a question. Do you think this is right for me? Ask them in your third eye, in your mind. Don't say things out loud because the way I see it, when you talk out loud, every spirit hears you. They could be like, no, yes, no, no, and you'll hear 100 answers. In your mind's eye. I talk to my spirit guides, speak to them inside tele tele telepathically. I'm talking to my spirit guides, my ancestors, my healed ancestors, those who love me. I need your guidance right at this very moment. Is this situation right for me? Yes or no? And you will hear a very faint no or yes inside of you. Right away, the first thing you hear, that's them answering you. Don't deny it. Like, was that a no? I don't know. Because then you really didn't want to hear the no. You see what I'm saying to you? So if you're like, oh, should I date this guy? And you hear a no. And you're like, yeah, I don't know if that was them. Okay, so then you just ignore them and you're basically asking for advice. They're giving it to you and you're ignoring it. For instance, if I want to go out tonight, right? Spirit guides. And I'll go on my mind. What do you think about me stepping out tonight just for an hour or two and just... For me, instantly, if I'm not supposed to, I'll either get a stomach ache. If not... Um, it'll be like, no, nah, I don't think you should, not right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they don't tell us what to do. They're guiding us. So if you want guidance for your best, 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 uh, 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 like, life, then, then you, you have to con con continuously connect with your guides and trust their opinion. And again, it's their opinion. They can never tell you what to do. That's what free will is, right? And you have that. And so your guides will let you know cons consistently you have free will. I can't tell you what to do. However, if you want to know my opinion as a spiritual being who is placed here to guide you, the answer is no. So you have to listen to it. Signs you're connected to spirit guides without knowing it. Good question. For me, it's heat. Like the, the heat, oh, um, heat in, the, in the crown chakra, heat on the third eye, or heat on my, my heart area. I'll get heat on my finger. For instance, whenever I light a cigarette, they like pinch my finger because they get mad at me. They're like, not mad at me. They don't get mad at us. Let me clarify that. You know what I'm saying though. They're like, come on, come on. You said you were gonna quit. You know what I'm saying? That or like if I go to buy something at a store, a supermarket, and I'm trying to eat healthy and something is not good for me, they'll like pinch my stomach. Like, mm, not, it's not good for your stomach. You know what I'm saying? Like, I work with them on every basis. So when you start to work with you guys on every basis, like, is this food good for me? They'll pinch your stomach. Ooh, I just got hit in the back of the head right here. You see that? Like a real sharp pain. But it doesn't hurt. It's like a, like a quick, you know what I'm saying? 
lately your guys have been telling you to get your health together me too mate and and you know they've been like come on get your health to they want to see the best version of us because there's something or an opportunity or something coming towards us that they you know when they're preparing you for something and they're telling you like you do this and do that it's because they see something coming for you and they want you to be ready for it okay always know that they see things before they happen you know they see it they're they're put it this way let's look at our guides as like our personal assistants but like not in a, a mean way because personal assistants are great they're like the most best asset you could have especially when that personal assistant really loves you wants the best for you and is looking out for you now imagine this personal assistant is up in the heavens whatever you want to imagine in the universe and they have a list of people that they they work with or whatever you know and your, your guides do get changed too when you need different ones and they have a list of the things that you need and you don't need right and they're already seeing this ahead of time so when you're connecting to them and going Going, blah 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 they're like yep nope yep because they already know they've been seeing what's gonna happen they know your whole life because that's their they were placed to guide you in this lifetime and they already know and see <clears throat> everything that you need to do everything that is going to be needed your guides already have the manuscript you understand what i'm saying to you it's like they re they read the book before it got printed you see what i'm saying to you they read the book is exactly how I'm hearing it before they got printed right do we really get a life review after we die a hundred it's not about our life review okay so we have this concept I'm gonna just explain this to you since you asked that question we have this concept some some depends on what you believe though babe you go where you believe you're gonna go when you die let me just let me facilitate that information to you so that you can withhold that and have the power to know that you go where you your consciousness goes so if you're you love Jesus right you're gonna go to Jesus and 90% 90% of the hundred hundred of times Jesus will tell you there's more <laughs> like this is not the last stop I'm just a I'm the, the way to the, the I'm the way like you know he's like a stop on the train like oh shit you got here that's good now you got to get somewhere else you see what I'm saying so wherever you do go that life review doesn't happen to show you how good or how bad you are listen to what I'm saying now that life review doesn't happen to show you am I good or am I bad it happens for this reason for you to decide if you want to further evolve your soul so if you see yourself doing certain things in this life review that you don't like that you did about yourself you choose do i want to go back and fix that or not but what you don't want to do is get in the trap get stuck in the trap of the karma thinking i have to do this because that is um you could say the not so light beings that get you to keep coming back to pay back so-called karma because consciously and subconsciously you believe that the things you've done were so bad that you're gonna have to come back and pay for it somehow or another so you have to get past all the guilt and shame fear illusions and delusions so that you could understand that you are an enlightened being you are just here learning lessons limitations and love and now now that you're transitioning you could decide hey listen I, I'm I'm good I feel pretty pretty happy about everything I've done I don't feel guilty or shameful about anything I've done it really is up to you and only you right your guides those 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 uh, eyes in the skies and those ascended masters and stuff they'll ask do you want to go down and further ascend and then some people are star seeds and they'll ask them do you want to go back down to earth like look at your life how it was it was pretty hard we need somebody to go back to earth to complete this mission you think you can do it you might look at your life and be like nah nah i'm not doing it you know what i'm saying there's different types how do you know if you started your spiritual journey by just knowing that you that you want something different like when you you know you started your spiritual journey first of all everything stops making sense to you on this earth usually people when they start their spiritual journey it starts off dark i hate everyone this world is horrible look at all the shit that's going on this is bad 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 because you start to notice as a spiritual being that this earth is not where you belong and then slowly but surely you start to accept things you start to understand things and when you start to get through these stages of darkness and you have to walk through the darkness to get to the light it's like it's a it's a must it's a necessary stage in the spiritual journey if you read dante's inferno or this or the fool's journey dante's inferno this man has to walk through hell in order to to learn the the, the things that he has to go through the darkness so when he steps up to the gates it says all ye who all ye who enters here abandon all hope 
right? And so he looks at the sign. He knows that he has to enter in there and it's going to be hopeless, horrible, dark, terrible, scary. But he has to go through it in order for him to get out of there so he can find his enlightenment and his journey. And when you watch the fool's, and the fool's journey, you will see that also in the fool's journey, they begin the process of child, parents telling them what to do, doing everything they're told, religion, blah, 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 blah. Then finding their own way, then going out, setting out into the world and saying, I don't, I, this doesn't make sense to me anymore. Now I want to do this and I want to do that. Go on um, YouTube and just type in the fool's journey and let something will come up like something you'll see on it. Oh my God, I'm getting so much crown chakra activation right now right here like just tapping 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 right <clears throat> and you'll learn that we all go through the fool's journey and you'll know you're on that spiritual awakening and that spiritual journey when you start to say like you know I, none of this makes sense to me i want to find my own way you know what i'm saying yeah if you listen you cannot see the, the light without going through the darkness the darkness prepares you everybody wants to be like the darkness ah fuck them fuck them but if they only knew and they started to, this is the thing, Buddha, all these enlightened beings will say, don't ever look at the darkness or the, or the negativity and be like, you deserve nothing, you piece of shit, you're here to destroy us. When in reality, it's, it's the so-called balance, you know, the yin and the yang, right? Okay, as above, so below. It's the balance and the need for us to experience both dynamics so that we can ultimately find, first of all, you get to choose. Do I want to be of the darkness or of the light? And at the end of the day, nothing makes you good or bad. You choose your home. You choose. Some of us are even born of the darkness and we choose to go to the light, which is why it is so much harder for us to get to the light. Right? Ultimately, if you think about it, and God said, right, I am and let there be light. If God said, I am and let there be light, that means the beginning of everything was nothing but darkness, the void, right? And then there was, let there be light. The words were spoken out and light came out. So essentially we're all born of the darkness, right? Because that is source and where we all come from naturally, right? Yeah, being an empath, I have strong intuition, but I'm scared of it. Now, the fear of being an empath is gonna cause you to have anxiety depression, uh, ADHD, all of that stuff. When you face, can I tell you guys something? You want me to get that fear away from you? I've been doing this shit, working with spirit, connecting to aliens, and I've, I've traveled through portals. Guys, I'm, I'm not, this is not, I'm not making this up to you. I'm trying to tell you something so you're prepared and you understand. I was laying in my bed and literally got lifted out and I felt it. My body vibrated like this and I just got portaled into another dimension and spoke to an alien being. He was probably about 15 feet tall and nothing scary happened. Nothing. I mean, nothing. Because you know why? Because I constantly believed and have faith that I'm protected. I'm safe. I'm guided. This is my mission. I'm always protected. I'm always safe. Once you take the initiative, your guides are confirming and they're saying to me right now, once they take the initiative to work with their mission, their purpose, their spiritual self, we will always and forever be there too protect them they have nothing to fear i tell you like this i have gone through the dark i sat in my room and spoke to demons i was like who are you and he was like, home oh, and he wouldn't tell me his name i was like are you a demon and he was like whoa, 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 laughing and 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 it was scary but like i'm gonna tell you right now the motherfucker with no face and the hood on running around three guys standing by the tree staring at me like this bitch knows where where she she's aware of us you know but they what you don't understand is at that time i was like oh my god i'm being attacked by all these demons and it's so scary but now i look back at it and i go oh my god thank you for that because of them i fucking realized that i'm a spiritual powerful being because if they never did that and scared the shit out of me because some of us are so stubborn that it takes a fucking a scared, scared straight opportunity. Like when the parents send their kids to jail, jail it's like, motherfucker, if you keep acting like this, this is where you're going to end up. This is what spirit does with some of us because we're so fucking hard-headed and stubborn. And they're like, okay, so you don't want to listen. We're trying to guide you the right way. Let's... We're Everybody that's sent to you for your own highest good is always sent by... God. You want to know the secret? Even if you feel 
you have you're being attacked by negative entities energies i'm gonna tell you something there's something about you that you're doing at this present moment of your life that's attracting these entities and these energies and god is sending these entities these beings these spiritual to awaken you to your power because you can't it's like the light has been telling you like hey you're powerful hey you're powerful and you're like la 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 smoking weed hanging out fuck that bitch uh gossip 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 and then the darkness has to come through and be like, you want to play in the darkness? All right, let's play. Like, you want to play rough? I'll show you rough. And they do that. And they do that for your highest good. As much as it might seem like you're being punished, you're not. You're not. Actually, they're doing you a fucking favor. And they can't do nothing to you to harm you unless they have permission. This is a mission. Everything comes from the goodness or from the light. You have to know that. When you know that, nothing will scare you anymore. Hmm? Yes, Megan. When you are confident, it's like people have faith in God, have faith in God, but then they're scared of shit like Schmovid or oh, Schmunky Schmocks. You know what I'm saying? Have faith in God. But baby, if it's your turn to go, you're going to go. Whether it's Schmovid or a car, it is what it is. What are you scared of? What is, what, why is everybody so scared of dying? What is it about death that's scaring you? Tell, just tell me what. You don't want to die because what? Because you just got this job last week. Because, you know, I mean, you know, death is a fucking gift. Without it, we can never ascend. Okay? Love you too. Can someone place a spell on me now with my old crystals and pendulum? That's why I'm worried. I've talked talked about this um, many times, many times, Anna. People can only place those spells and those curses and those blah, blah, blahs on you the second you start to believe they can. Get that shit out of your head. You only, the only power someone has over you is the power you give them. Do you think crystals are saving you or do you think the fact that you're, t you're telling yourself this crystal has the ability to help me and it's going to help me? If someone sees a stone, let's say somebody who doesn't know what crystals are, looks at a black stone on my on my on my dresser, they're gonna be like, "What's this black rock you have over here? It's stupid. Get it away." But someone who's aware that crystals have natural abilities, they're gonna go, "Oh my gosh, you have a black obsidian here. That's amazing." You see what I'm saying to you guys? Look, it's all it's the power you give. It's what you keep your focus on, what you give your attention to constantly over and over again. You know, sometimes it could just be a, a, a things are just not working out because you need to change something in your life. Okay? And people don't want to admit that. So a lot of times people are like, oh my God, somebody's putting a spell on me. Oh my God, I must be cursed. Could it be maybe that, oh, a blue jay just passed. I mean, come on, man. I can't make this shit up. Two of them. I cannot. I can't make this shit up. Two blue jays just passed. And I shit you not. They're sitting on a tree right by my thing. Two blue jays just passed. Look, man, if that's not a sign from the spirit world, there they go. Look, I'll show you. Look, hold on. Come on, come on. You see him? There goes one. You see that, right? Okay, that's one. And the other one was on the tree. I don't know where she is, but they, they just passed. I'm going to tell you, if that's not a sign from spirit right there, blue jays are a visitation usually from a female energy in the spirit world. Red cardinals happen to be a male presence, very strong. Blue jays are powerful fighters. They're, they're friends. Like they, they fight for their friends very powerfully. Red cardinals will fight for their family to the death. They won't even quit until that um that energy is gone so you have to understand this is a spiritual visitation from a friend two of them passing by like that just confirmed that everything i'm saying i'm hearing get your mind out of the gutter step into your power and get the fuck out of the mentality of like i'm cursed you're not cursed you're gifted see until you start seeing your gifts as gifts and stop seeing them as curses you're very welcome anna once you start to see your gifts as a gift and you stop thinking you're cursed, I will promise you that your whole life will change. When you start seeing your empathic abilities as a gift and not a curse, like, oh my God, I'm so empathic. Every time I go somewhere, it affects my energy. Instead of seeing that, say, wow, I am so empathic. I know that if I step into this space right now and anybody is not having good intentions, I'm going to feel that. And if I feel off, I immediately know it's not me and I need to walk away. 
turn it from a curse to a gift and you'll see how fast and how powerful and how quick things will happen for you. See? See, Silver? Do you think energy... Do you think that... that do you think we are energy that is self-aware? Um, 100%. I believe that us as energetic beings are aware of everything that's going on. That's what I believe. I believe that the ener the the manifestations of our other selves and other dimensions are more not aware until you start to connect them like I have. I've connected to myself in all other dimensions and what I did was bring them all together to see the, the point and the there's a thing on, on Gaia that she explains that the um the twenty two archetypes that you create, right? It's your um multiple dimensional self right you're a multi-dimensional being right so she says there's 22 archetypes and in these 22 archetypes that you're creating you're creating stories that are happening in, in those 22 archetypes now when you see yourself in dreams traveling here you're doing this you're doing this most of the times you're seeing your other archetypes and other dimensions so you're almost like mind's eye viewing them you're remote viewing them from another part of your dimension and seeing yourself play out these other realities and so the whole intention is for you to gather all all of these other yous, bring them together so that you can all be one and things can go smoothly from there. And so you can gather these other yous, the fearful one, the one living, oh my God, the world's going to end or the fearful one that says I have this problem with my daughter. All of these other yous must come together. That is why it's so important. And all of these um, ancient uh, teachings tell you to be one with this where you are here now. And once you can get your mind stabilized and think I am here, I am one, this is my reality, things are okay, I'm placed right here, I'm grounded here. Once you can get all those archetypes and more, you know what I'm saying to you? Then boom, there you go. Now you're beginning to live in this reality and to do the work you need to do here instead of wasting your time and just creating other realities that are not even worth anything at, at most of the times. You see what I'm saying to you? I believe in you so much for the conversation we had before regarding my niece dying in a car crash. I love your energy. Thank you. You know what? Um, I envision the kind of day I want, but then here comes the negative energy and tries to come for me. What's a good saying to expel that negative energy? Okay, hold on one second. Give me one second. All right. So, I'll find it. Hold on one second. I can't see because of the lighting. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? This is amazing. I'm going to actually post this so you have it and you could um, screenshot it, okay? One second, one second, one second. One second. Mm. Okay. All right. So I this is this is I'm going to post this. I do not absorb any energy that is not mine. Um I can't see it all, okay, whatever, but may I ride the rhythm and vibration that is mine and mine alone. I claim my authentic self, um, my authentic energy and my power flows through me. I release all that is not mine to carry. A shield of protection surrounds me. I I won't hoarder the worries of those of others and I won't and I won't take on the projection of others. No pain or anxiety can stand in my way because no pain and anxiety that's not mine may i process only what that what's not mine i'm gonna post this but that's an empath prayer and it works magic wonders okay it's an empath prayer and i'm going to um i'm gonna post that and so you could keep that empath prayer and and anytime you step out of the house close your eyes right first thing you want to do as an empath is t tap your heart a little bit and see your energy being protected by the white light i tell my daughter to do this when she goes to school right before she gets out the car i go to her remember love and light love and light i'm like say it in your head love and light love and light love and light and she's been doing it and it's been working and i've seen her have better and better and better days and i tell her to imagine and to know that i'm sending her that white light and it's like an invisible like bubble around you and I'm getting emotional just thinking about it because I feel like somebody's saying, oh my God, this is going to help me so much. It's going to change your fucking life. That's what it's going to do. Use it. You're welcome. I'm going to post it after I post this video. I'll post that prayer for you. And I want you to envision that white light and remember that you're going to, as a as the power in you, the empathic power and the gift that you have, you might feel other people's energy, but you can just push it away. Excuse me. Mm -mm, that's not mine excuse me you walk into your house i'm gonna give you a good one this one right here is a fucking banging right now 
It's like the gangsterest shit ever, bro. I walk in my house sometimes and this bitch over here fucking got a headache. The other one's tired. The other one's complaining. Why well, I gotta walk in my motherfucking house and I feel tired. I got a headache and I want to complain. I was just fine. I was outside. I, what the fuck is going on? Oh, okay. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay. Thank you. Excuse me. Thank you. Excuse me. Thank you. Excuse me. So like I'll push the energy. Okay. No, no, no. No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And push it and push it. Push it good. Uh, push it. Uh, push, push, push it good. Just push that energy out the way. That's not you, baby. That's not you. Got to recognize when it's you and it's not you. You're having a bad day because you're having a bad day because you experience something is a different thing. You could still clear that. But when you're not having a bad day and you're fine, like you said, I'm chilling. All of a sudden, here comes the bad energy. Oh, so you got to tell that bad energy. Excuse me. Nobody's going to rain on my parade. Like, sing that shit. Do that shit. I don't care. Do something. Excuse me. No, I'm sorry. You're having a bad day. I am sorry for you. And this is where you turn into from your empathy to your sympathy. Empaths feel everything. Symp sympathetic people go, oh, that's so sad. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sympathetic to what's going on and compassionate, but I'm not about to feel your fucking pain. No, thank you. I'm good. Woo. You know what I'm saying? If you got to get a little sage, cleanse the spirit, cleanse the energy. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Or you want to carry a little black obsidian or black tourmaline to project that energy like back onto them. Like, sorry, no. When you go on to work, oh my God, you're going to walk in. All of a sudden, you're like, fucking dumb bitch. <laughs> You were fine. Why was it? Because you're thinking and you're hearing everybody's thoughts. Empathic people are also telepathic people. <sighs> yeah, V Marie, I always post my videos here and on YouTube. I highly suggest you follow my YouTube. The link is in my bio because I just randomly jump on and I, I channel, I give messages. Sometimes I'll do $25 readings for people. You know, um, the YouTube is important. When you do subscribe, if you want to, obviously, you know, heed your intuition on anything you do. When you do subscribe, though, I want you to hit the notifications on your cell phone in like the settings app in your iPhone or or your Samsung and go to YouTube notifications and turn it on. And then you want to go into YouTube and turn on notifications for my videos, because that's going to tell you, like, if I jump on and you're you're having a bad day and all of a sudden I jump on spirit just led you there. It happens all the time. People are like, oh, my God, thank God you just came on. I was feeling like this. You see what I'm saying to you? So what I want you to do is turn your pain into power. Turn your fears into warrior shit. Like, you scared? Okay, so develop something that's going to help you not be af afraid of that anymore. You are powerful. And, and, and I don't need to tell you that because you already know that. But remember, I'm your higher self talking back to you right now. You already know. See, what's funny is every single one of you already know this information. But spirit has connected to have connected you to my soul because they knew somehow or another. Because one of my missions is to help people. That's my mission. I train angels. I, I, I remind them of who they are. So if spirit guided you towards someone and you, you heard something, it didn't happen by accident. Right? Because we all make contracts before we come here. Like, I'm going to help as many people remember who they are as possible. And some of you were like, okay, can you make sure she helps me? Because I'm going to need somebody to gangster who's going to be like, keep it mad real. You know, because we don't want all resonate with, hey, you guys, love and light. And like, I'm pop. And like, no, but I don't, I, what? Shut up, bitch. <laughs> like, your voice is getting on You know, some people don't like my voice. You know, it all depends on the person. You know? I never heard of you before and somehow I just tuned in so I believe I was led to you. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. That's how life works. And especially if you never heard of me, then you really know you were guided to me. But everybody here is guided to me because we don't just connect. We connect, connect, okay? Whenever I have time, I try to answer as many people as possible. But I also, as an empath, you have to create boundaries with everyone because sometimes other empathic people because they know they will help you know we got to create boundaries so that you don't drain yourself because if your energy is drained you will have nothing left for anyone else so you have to keep your energy grounded and clear clear listen empaths biggest thing i'm gonna tell every one of you guys in here because i know this is what you all are you have to clear your energy at least three or four times a day how do you do that again like i said create the white lay maybe some palo santo carry palo santo it's a magic magic for empathic people do that and you'll see phew, everything will be lifted off you real quick real quick sage like you want to sage yourself around you make sure you go under your feet in between your legs you know you're hitting up the out like you know how they outline a dead body with the chalk that's how i want you to outline your body with the palo santo 
okay? Thank you, Hillary. I love you too. I love these lives, the right time with all the golden nuggets of information. I have a, a billion golden nuggets in here. And when people ask the right questions, I know how to answer it. You know what I'm saying? So, he, so yeah, okay. So, love and light to you guys. Again, um, you know, keep clearing your energy. Stay outside as much as you can. Look, once I got a porch, because we moved from that other place to this place. Once I got a porch and the little pool area. I don't, I'm not really a pool person. I'll go in once in a while. But once I got a porch and the, there's nature around me, just sitting out here brings me so much more peace and serenity. Like, I could be bored doing nothing than being inside when you're inside a lot and you're like oh, i know because i'll have days when i stay inside all day and i feel depressed like miserable so if you have a porch or a front just sit on it stay outside for a little bit like sitting out here brings me so much peace so much peace so just do that make sure you grounding your energy for those of you who don't know you can go outside put your feet on the grass connect to earth and say i'm grounded i'm grounded i'm grounded okay when you feel like you're like all over the place but as an empath also we we tend to do this like i get this a lot like why are you talking so fast from people in my family but that's what people who channel and who are empathic do when they get excited especially when spirit gets excited to give the messages you start talking fast you might might not make sense to people or they might think you're on fucking drugs or some shit but you have to um, understand that all that comes with being an empath and being a powerful channeler and when you start seeing this as a gift it will change your whole view of life stop seeing shit as a, as as you're cursed just because people don't understand you doesn't mean that you're a bad person you see what i'm saying peace peace love and hair weave <laughs> no isn't it peace love and hair grease you fucked that up. No, I'm just kidding. I talk fast too. I listen. I I used to talk. I always talk fast my whole life, and I repeat things a lot um, because sometimes I feel like, did you hear that? Did you hear that? So I'll say it like two times. But um, I used to feel really bad about it to the po to the point where I was ashamed and because I didn't know how to control it. But now I know when I talk fast, I'm doing it because I want to, not because I can't control it. Right? There's a difference. So that's why it's important for you to keep doing these clearing, grounding, and all that shit. Because most people don't realize a lot of empathic people and people who are psychically in tune and are channelers and oracles. A lot of them do end up doing drugs and stuff just to stop all the chatter, right? So they'll like drink or they'll smoke a lot of weed just to shut the noise up for a moment, you know? Because um, you know how everybody's like, oh my God, when I get high, I like hear a bunch of things. And stuff. Or I'm like, oh, I'm so awakened. No, when I used to do drugs, actually it shut down my brain i couldn't think i was just like huh duh like I, I just saw blank you see what i'm saying to you so some people need to just clear the energy and ground because for me when i do that you if you ever see me stuck like huh if i take an adderall right now i i can't talk i'm just like because it shuts everything down so that's what i'm telling you it's better to keep clearing to do all this stuff because then you can um Use your energy in the right way and you won't have to take substances like Xanax and all this weed and all that. Because weed, people think it's so like normalized, but actually that really fucks with your thinking process. Weed is like a, it, it's not a stimulant that, that people are making it out to be like, it, it dulls people down. Think about 90% of the people when they smoke weed, what do they say? I got to smoke to calm down, right? Okay, so just so you know. There's no drug that's going to enlighten you more than you can become enlightened yourself. So for if you're talking about ayahuasca, like the plant medicines and all those things like the shamans do in, on, in those jungles, those are different stories, but I'm, not, I'm talking about all this other shit you have to process and understand something. Don't pressure yourself. If you can't be quiet and you can't focus perfectly, don't judge yourself. One of the things you have to stop doing in your life is judging yourself. Do you understand? There's a quote in um, the book of Thomas. I suggest you guys read this stuff like the book of Thoth, the book of Thomas, the, the 23 laws of the universe, things like that. You know what I'm saying? Listen to Abraham Hicks. Listen to Dolores Cannon. Listen to Eckhart Tolle. Listen to Alan Watts. These people that talk about things that other people are too scared to talk about at that time. We're talking about 1940s, 50s, 60s. Rudolf Steinler. He's a good one too you know what i'm saying and i'm gonna tell you in the book of thomas which is supposed which is the text that they found in the dead sea scrolls the book of thomas and it's like thomas talking to jesus and then there's a gospel of mary in it the gospel of judas these are like the gospels of them were found in the dead sea scrolls not what you find in the bible that's man-made shit they take a little bit of what's real and they add on a lot of bit of what the fuck they wanted to just let me just make you very, very aware of that, okay? So you understand. Yeah, there's a lot of knowledge in these books too because a lot of great men wrote, and a, great men, some women, 
they didn't write, but they had stories to, to put in there. They took what they could and then they fixed it the way they wanted to. Like Kim, King James Version. Listen, the King James Version of the Bible. Motherfucker, Jesus ain't write that. Kim, King, Kim Jong-un, I was about to say, look at me. The King, King James wrote that. Constantine literally changed the Bible. There's a story about Constantine and he was going to war with those motherfuckers on the other side, whoever the fuck they were. He's standing outside. He doesn't know what to do. He's about to go to battle. He said all of a sudden he could see a cross in the sky and, the, and it was a revelation that a cross told him, put this on your shields and with this cross you shall conquer. And then he did. And so what did he do? He turned Christian after that. And then a Pope approached him and said to him, hey, Constantine, this is the Bible this is what's in it and then Constantine read it and he goes wait 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 no we can't put this out there and so the Pope said why he goes because if we do you're going to give everybody the knowledge that we need to conquer them and so he had them change the whole version of the, of the Bible so that it could keep us yes yes sir your master honor and he could be above us you see what I'm saying to you you get it they could change all they want. Jesus is king, but a lot of people go by the words of the Bible dream. You know what I'm talking about. That Jesus Jesus is one of the kings. He's not king of everything. He's told me himself. Let people know I ain't the only one who, who martyred and, and sacrificed myself. He's not the only one, okay? He's not the, he was one of the martyrs here physically. But what you don't see is all of the beings that died for our own well-being. There was the beings in the fourth dimension, and they were up there in the sky, and they were recognizing that nobody was evolving and nothing was happening, and so they chose to die for us. These are, I'm talking about thousands or hundreds of thousands of, of beings that chose to die for us before Jesus, right? So when we say, Spirit, lead us to of us within our waters. Let me walk upon the waters to the presence of our saviors. Plural. Okay? Hmm. I'm telling you, Jesus loves me. And he comes in my dreams. And I ask him all the time, am I saying the wrong thing? He's like, keep talking. Keep talking. I'm like, are you sure? Are you sure this is Jesus? And then he'll come in my dream and he'll show me everything you're telling people. He'll show me exactly. Look, they're using me for their own benefits. Show them, tell them what, what I showed you. That people are in the church false profiting and, and acting like they're talking through me. They ain't talking through me. Straight up. You know, you got to understand that, guys. See... See, when I see these things, they're not coming from me, personal personal um, opinions. Because I love everybody equally. Jesus, Buddha, all the big names, right? Let's talk about ISIS, all of them. I'm like, yo, thanks, good looking, motherfucker. Because if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have learned that. You know, just like Gail King, uh, thanks Oprah. You know what I'm saying? Type of shit. Like, shit like that. You have to understand. There's always one person that, 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 that went before that person. You know, they say that Jesus, Buddha, Muhammad, they're all... Um, the same being came come down on different terms to enlighten the people, but each time they took their wisdom, their knowledge, and they used it for their own benefit, for the teachings of their own religious standpoints and their agendas to control the population. I mean, I'm smart, but you guys, I didn't go to college, so where would all this information come from? Just think about it for a moment. I didn't go to college at all. <laughs> I barely finished high school. I got my GED, bitch. Like, come on, just like Muhammad, <laughs> Jesus, they were not writers, okay? Nobody, none of them were writers. Uh, Muhammad was illiterate when he fucking channeled the the Quran. Okay, so let's let's wake up to that. Okay, where are we getting these messages from? And I know because I work with different beings and they're they're able to give me the information. Because I, yo yo, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Listen to this. I love sharing with you guys because you know you understand me. You know I can't really talk to nobody in my life like this. Um, oh my god, I gotta fart so bad, but I'm not gonna do that to you guys. But um, so so listen to this shit. So on my um, I don't know why I share everything. That's one thing Spirit loves about me too. They're like, don't worry, she'll tell them everything. She doesn't care. Um, she has no shame. <laughs> Literally no shame. And on my um, on my thing. 909 and 707, 909 is a big significant change in your cycles. The changes are removing and, and they're being cleared. Google 707 angel number. That's an enlightened number that you're ready to step into the spiritual realm, realm of a higher power, okay? Um, so 
um, on my, on my, um, I love you guys, man. I love you. On my um, profile, it says translator of the ghetto, get the ghetto translator of the galaxies. And then it says translator of dimensions. And I wonder why I be writing this stuff. Like, I don't know. It just comes out of nowhere. Like, I'm like, why am I writing the ghetto galaxies? Uh, the uh, medium of the ghetto, the ga ghetto medium of the galaxies. I'm like, why did I just write that? Or the, the translator of dimensions. Like, why did I just write that? I train, I train angels here on earth. I don't just write that. Spirit is telling me this is where you're at right now. That's why you always see a change from this to that. Like I'm a medium, I'm psychic, to boom, translator of the galaxies. Now they're telling me that they're going to give me some information. Last night they were showing me some letters. I didn't understand what they were saying. So, uh, so, uh, um, they're telling me that I have some kind of um, gift and one of my one of my missions is going to be to translate some text that they have, but they're not able to translate it over to Earth. So I'm going to be taking on that responsibility of translating some very important text over to, to humanity. So I don't know how that's going to come and play, but it's, it's like, you know, when we, we have the chosen one, there's chosen ones for everything. They're choosing me for some sort of mission for me to translate some sort of documents to you guys. So when you see me come out and be like, guys, this is what and I'm not. You see me doing that, just understand that that's coming from an ent uh, 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 angelic entity being that's in a form of energetic state. And they want, you uh, every so thousands of years so often, somebody comes in with new information. And, and especially because the age of Aquarius, a lot of people are going to be retaining some new information that they're going to be given out, okay? And I notice something sometimes when I channel, I look at myself and I look like, um, it's, I love autistic people because they're adorable, the, the things they do, like people with tics, I notice when I'm channeling sometimes, I do like tick, people with tics or autistics, like I'll, I'll start to get into this like, and I'll start like vibrating and shit, and I know I look crazy, but, and like nobody looks crazy, but you know what I'm saying to you, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. So what I'm saying to you is, pay attention to what your guides are telling you. Stop denying your powers. Stop saying, ah, probably not. Probably not me. Not, not, not. So there's 20, 20 of you here now. Some people tuned out. But um, those of you who are here, if you would like to get further into this type of stuff, you know, I'm doing classes and they're only 15 bucks. So if you'd like to attend the classes, when I post, hey guys, um, tonight at 6 p.m. there's a live Zoom. Send $15 to Cash App put your name and your phone number do that and then what I do is I text everybody with the zoom link you join the class and then we focus on a topic for the night um, sometimes I'll show a video before it so you can get a lot of information and then we talk about the video and we become more enlightened then we practice mediumship and channeling together we did that just last week uh, just Monday last Monday I, uh, I did it with uh, my students and we did some channeling and some mediumship and people were getting some information and I help people realize, yeah, you are too. Yeah, you might be looking at me like, damn, you're so powerful, you're so you're so gifted, but so are you though. So that's why you're being linked to me, okay? Because you're you're gifted. So what's today? Today is well, I have two clients today, so I'm I'm not gonna be able to do it today. And my daughter's not feeling too well, so if you guys would like tomorrow night, I'll do that. Since everybody's home, it's Sunday. You got nothing else better to do, unless you do and you're fucking cool and I'm just a loser. But um, Sunday. Tomorrow night, I'm going to post. When you Just check my post, you guys. You know, if you guys want to rock with me and like that, like check my post. I Listen to me. Can I tell you guys something? I'm going to give you this, this, this little bit of gem. When I do these um, classes for $10, $15, and, or I do readings for $25, I'm doing it for those of you who constantly follow my shit and do that. And, and I'm trying to give you guys very, very cheap ways to do things. But also, understand... You, you're a G, you're not stupid. Flo got to make money too. She can't keep doing shit for free because then what happens is I feel like I'm giving, I'm not receiving. So we have to give and receive. But everything I do for cheap like that and all the times I channel for free, I give people readings for free. You have to understand energy because even then because if you get shit for free all the time you're gonna feel like a piece of shit i know i do when i take things for free for people a lot i'm like oh no i can't you know it's like a guy who just keeps giving you money eventually you're gonna feel like you're using him and it, it's, it's not a good feeling right so tomorrow night it's 15 dollars for the class and i only have i have them every monday 
um, or every Sunday, whenever everybody's available. I have a list of people that already joined. There's usually about 10 people in my class. And these are, I've been doing this with them for a year, maybe two. And I'm gonna tell you, all these students are doing great things with their lives. There are so many of them that are doing so well, they don't even need the classes anymore. They're out living their lives and they're using all the tools that they learn from my classes, from watching my videos, and they're using it and they put it in the work and they feel better. And a lot of them, when they stop connecting, they always hit back, oh my God, I, I needed to connect. I was feeling, I was feeling like my connections lost. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I do everything to try to give you guys as much of what I can do for as cheap as I possibly can. But at the end of the day, I'm also not going to be an idiot and you shouldn't be an idiot if you start to do spiritual work and you can't do everything for free because it'll drive you nuts. Okay. All right. I love you guys. I talk to you guys until my battery's dead. Share this video and not because I want to be cool. Share, share it with someone. Be like, yo, you need to watch this everything you need to know if you know somebody who's empathic who this video right here is a gem i'm gonna save this and store this here and on my youtube and i would highly suggest you keep it in your like your saved videos because whenever you're like having a hard time there was a lot of gems in this and you can go back to it okay i love you guys very much have a great day remember keep clearing grounding clear ground clear ground clear ground okay when you're feeling lost and and afraid and alone and confused keep clearing and grounding also one more i have a message one more message thank you spirit i'll just give it to them right now okay so spirit spirit wants you to know that at this time if you're feeling stuck lost alone lonely they're saying just keep going with this process because again they're preparing you for this next stage is whatever you're being prepared for in this next stage you're gonna have to you're gonna have to you're gonna need what power you're gaining from this moment here which is i'm getting the wind is blowing right now whatever standstill you're at this is the clarity and you're little by little yes it might feel annoying it might, it might feel like you're stuck at a standstill but spirit is saying just let the let the river flow and just get on the raft and just sit on it you know what i'm saying you know those rides where you just sit on the the, the floaty and it just takes you around that river it, it like takes just let it flow okay I love you guys. Love you all. And guys, understand one more thing. Connect to each other here too. You know, whether it's through the classes or through my YouTube channel. Whenever you see me go live on YouTube, get in there. Talk to each other. Community. Build a community. Don't be afraid. This, but that's why we're all here together right now, okay? Love you guys. I'll see you. I'll see you later. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you later. You're one hot mama. No, I'm just kidding. All right, guys. I love you. I'll see you later. Bye.